Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I am here to talk to you about some more security keys. And I have two examples for us to consider today. And these are both samples from the Fatian company and they specialize in security keys and other security style products. They reached out to me via email and asked me to test both of these and to see what I thought. So while Fatian has provided these keys to me, no money has exchanged hands, and my review remains, as always, my own. The two samples that we see in front of us, first off, are the ePass style key, which they have several varieties of, and I'll leave an image up on the screen showing you the differences and functionalities in that line. But this one is a FIDO2 NEFC key, and of course it is USB type A. Now, these sorts of keys are universally helpful because they support legacy of standard USB type A, as well as NFC. So if you have a smartphone, for example, that has the capacity to read them, it makes it all the more useful when you're logging into those accounts. Now, depending on the functionality, these keys can range anywhere from 20 all the way up to $40 or more, and are generally just considered to be a good, solid, option for extra account security. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a moment. The next key that we have up is called the BioPass. And this is also a FIDO2 capable key. And this uses biometrics to essentially give the handshake to the key that it is okay to issue the Go code, if you will, to the software that's been set up to use it. Now the data is stored locally on the key. So that means your fingerprint isn't uploaded anywhere and it's not actually possible to get your fingerprint data off of the key. It just verifies that yes, indeed, it matches, and that's it. Now, this key does require a piece of software to write the fingerprint, obviously, to the key, but this is actually one of the things that I was very interested in, is that they not only provide the software package for Windows, Mac, but they also provide it for Linux. So we will be flashing that on Linux today, just because when you do have these biometric keys, very often the software doesn't support every single operating system choice the user might want to make. And for the record, these keys are usually retailing around 80 Canadian dollars. Rest assured, whichever option that you may choose from Fatian, they are a FIDO Alliance and Microsoft Intelligence Security Association member. So you know that there is some actual legitimacy here and that these aren't just a copy uh, being sold. They are very much so the genuine article and can be used for whatever needs that you might have. Let me go ahead and grab a laptop and we're actually going to start with this key right here, the BioPass, because to me it's one of the most interesting examples. So just give me a moment and we shall get ourselves set up. The first thing to do of course is to unbox this sample. So we're going to go ahead and cut the tape there. And we just have this nice little pull-out foam block. And that is very well built. Like it, it's actually some kind of metal alloy. That, uh, that just feels nice. Um, most often these keys are made out of some kind of polymer or plastic, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that either. And then, of course, it comes with a packaging cover, but it is durable enough that if you wanted to use it to protect the key against the elements, you could certainly do that. To help us out with this project today, I do have a ThinkPad X220, of course, running Linux. So I had a bit of trouble using the Linux version of their tool. So what I'm actually going to do is just use the one that's built into Chrome. And some of you may or may not know that you can actually manage security keys directly in Chrome or any Chrome-based browser. So you don't necessarily have to rely on a specific tool. So if we go here and select fingerprints for manage security keys. It'll ask us to touch the key and we can see the key is flashing and it will say, well, you need a pin. So let's go ahead and set up a pin. Now that the pin has been created, we should be able to add the fingerprint. So to continue, touch your security key, enter the pin and it says it has no fingerprints added. So we wanna go ahead and obviously add a fingerprint. And here we go. 
I'm going to add my right thumb. And that's got really good recognition. That's probably the fastest one I've ever tried um, adding a fingerprint to. And if I want to, I can add another fingerprint. I'll use my right index. And there we go. That one's also done. And now that we've finished managing the fingerprints, this thing is now set up to accept essentially these two. And I can pair it or this key. Honestly, me pairing one of these keys is not the most exciting piece of video journalism you'd ever see because I'm just going through steps that are usually pretty well known at this point. One thing that you do need to understand if you have never watched any of my other security key videos is that once these keys are paired they are now required to get in and you just need to be really mindful of that so when you are logging into these accounts from a machine that's not recognized you will need one of these nearby and it will need to be compatible with the device that you are using to log in so for example this one does not support nfc so this is where having a cheaper version of the same key that does support NFC is actually quite ideal. And this key is no slouch either. It's incredibly durable feeling. I actually had it out of the packaging earlier just to compare it against some of the other keys that I've had. And it's got a nice thin profile, not that much bigger than an actual regular key. And as you can see, lights up really nicely and you can tap that key all day long. And it's actually very unobtrusive going in and out of uh, USB ports because of its thinness. Whereas this one is considerably more secure and requires a bit more effort. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, these two security keys remain a good option and alternative to a lot of the other keys that are out there, depending on the features and the budget that you have. If you have any questions about these keys, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll leave some literature there that you can read on where you might be able to find these keys for purchase or just additional information about what FIDO2 certification is and why it should matter to you if you're looking to add more security to your personal accounts or your work accounts or your corporate accounts. I'd like to thank Fatian again for sending me these keys and allowing me to feature them on the channel. I think these will be a good addition uh, to my collection, especially this one. I really like how that feels in the hand and I also enjoyed how quickly it seemed to pair with my fingerprint. One thing that you always need to think about when it comes to security, because people like security, but they don't like inconvenience. So making it work quick and responsibly is absolutely essential. If you've enjoyed this content and would like to see more, I would encourage you to do the big four that help support the channel. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So the next time I have the opportunity to feature another security product on this channel, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.